Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to talk about um, uh, history of Kodachrome. Kodachrome is the first product of Kodak invented by John Capstan in 1913. Kodachrome is the brand name for the color reversible flame into, uh, introduced by Eastman Kodak in 1935. It was one of the first successful color uh, material and was used for both cinematography and still photography. The next version of Kodachrome was invented by Leopold Gautsky Jr. and Leopold Menz, two musician and scientists who worked at Kodak's research faculty in Rochester, New York. Uh, there is also impact of Kodachrome. Um, so Kodachrome um, Kodak has been a cultural icon in, in the camera industry. Kodachrome film gives, uh, gave an un unrealistic color saturation and the picture take, uh, taken on a dull day looked as if they were taken on a sunny day. The photographer appreciated the warmth and richness of the um, Kodachrome effect uh, that the technicolor look of win uh, winter's um, photo shots. Kodachrome's uh, popularity peaked in 1960s and 70s when American Aristo catalogued every single holiday and family vacation and birthday celebration and his is right. Mm, even mm, uh, even there is a song uh, even there is a song Kodachrome by Paul Simon uh, when he sang in uh, 1973. Mm, so. So Simon uh, sang about his Nikon camera and his color, color flame being Kodachrome. Uh, so, uh, so uh, th there is a small, small section of his song, uh, which I added over here, which goes like this: Kodachrome. They gave us th uh, those nice bright color. They gave us uh, the green of summers, make you think all the world's a sunny day. Oh yeah, I got a Nikon camera, so I love to take a photograph. So Mama, don't take my Kodachrome Kodak away. What I interpreted uh, by his song Kodachrome is that because of the help of Kodachrome, uh, it has been easy, uh, easy for everyone to make uh, uh, make every memory more beautiful. Uh, and also, he uh, he has also specified that he clicked the uh, photograph with his Nikon camera. So, um, but uh, but uh, but Kodachrome uh, couldn't gain its popularity uh, till till now. So, in in mid nineteen eighties, uh, video camcorders and and more easily produced color film from companies like Fuji and Polaroid in encroached on. Kodachrome market share and film fell into disfavor. Compared to the newer technology, Kodachrome was pain to develop. It required a large processing machine and several different chemical and over a dozen processes, processing steps. It was on uh, June 22, 2009 that Eastman Kodak Company broke the news from its headquarters in Rochester, uh, New York that the much loved slide film would stop uh, production after a run of 74 years. Um, due to the growth and popularity of alternative photographic material, this complex uh, processing requirement and the widespread transition to additional photography, Kodakram lost its market share. So whenever uh, when, whenever we talk about Kodakram, uh, we need to talk about um, a little bit of the ca uh, camera. And so looking back to the history of camera, camera obscura is the first um, uh, first camera invented by um, Haitham and in 1685 um, uh, Zonan, Jan and Joseph in invented the uh, in, uh, invented the camera and designed, uh, designed the first handheld reflex camera. Uh, the Kodak camera was developed by George Eastman and went on a sale with a, uh, with a single slaughter uh, the sale in, in in 1888 pioneering the use of photographic film. It was a, it was a simple box camera with a single slaughter speed and a fixed focus lens. The first digital camera was developed in 1988, but was never sold to a public. It wasn't until 1991 that Kodak released the Kodak TCs, which was uh, their first long 
uh, long line of digital camera the production and development of digital camera has continued uh, continued to increase over the year uh, interestingly enough the despite Despite the move from digital camera to smartphone camera, there has been a rise in pop popularity of Polaroid film cameras. Uh, so here is the picture of uh, the first fine hole camera called uh, Camera Obscura invented by uh, uh, Al Hazen. So, uh, similarly, there is, uh, similarly, there is uh, another picture of the camera which was invented in, in 1839. Um, in 1840, the first uh, American uh, patent issued uh, in photography to Alexandra Wilcott for his camera. In 1857, uh, pano uh, panoramic camera um, patent by Thomas Sutton. Uh, here is uh, another um, camera made by Oliver Owenhill Holmes with a stereoscope uh, viewer in 1861. And in 1888, uh, George Eastman uh, patent Kodak, uh, Kodak roll film camera. Um, in 1900, the first mass marketed camera, the brownie was uh, presented by Eastman and it was on sale until 1916. Nineteen thirteen to nineteen fourteen, the 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 uh, the candid camera was developed. In nineteen hundred and twenty-seven, the camera were known for the exceptional build quality and superior optics and small size. And this is the camera of nineteen thirty-three. Mm, here is for 1948-1978, Konica introduced the first point and suit autofocus camera Konica and it was named The Spring. In 1991, Kodak released the first professional digital camera system which was um, of a great use for a photojournalist and it was modified um, Nikon F3 camera with the with the 1.3 megapixel sensor and in 2000 uh, the Japanese Sharps JSHO4 introduced the world first camera phone in 2005 the Canon EOS 5D is launched the first consumer uh, consumer uh, priced full frame digital SLR with 24 into 36 mm Cosmox sensor uh, so whenever we uh, look back to the history of camera, we can see that the structure and the feature has also changed a lot and it has been much more easier uh, for everyone to use uh, in today's time. So um, impacts of cameras. Um, people's behavior in public has changed because of camera. People are uh, people are better at photographs. It gives the ability to capture the um, capture picture by the click of a button and to develop the memories that were captured. It enables the diffusion of object um, objective information through the visual capture of things as well as they really are. People have an emotional response to image. What people see in see is often more likely to influence their opinion than what they um, simply read or hear. It has affected people's um, people's way of sharing information and communicate communicating. Um, so, like camera, there are also other technology which has helped people um, people in in daily uh, day to day basis. Now we have <clears throat> we have limitless option to transfer information from one person to another. Um, we can communicate faster with the people living in any part of the world by the use of cell phone. We can now make the way of communi uh, communication more realistic. We can even communicate face to face with the help of technology. For example, we can use FaceTime, Skype and video chatting um, um, to the people living in any part of the world. Everyone now likes to uh, record everything. Um, uh, everything in list and share the recording with the people by internet. We have to, um, we have to give creative technology and have started for to digital world for opening up uh, new avenues. So here is a source of whatever um, like whatever the picture I have inserted in my 
in in my PowerPoint. Thank you.